Your chainsaw's chain is made up of a series of cutting teeth and drive links all riveted together. As you use the saw, the teeth will become dull and can become damaged if they strike a rock or a nail. The drive links will wear as they run through the guide bar. They will wear faster if dirt gets into the guide bar's groove. The drive links can be damaged if the chain comes off the bar while using the saw. Replacing your chainsaw's chain is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the side cover from the saw. The side cover is held in place with two nuts. Once the nuts are loosened, I'll loosen the tension on the bar. Now I can remove the nuts. And before I remove the side cover, I want to make sure that the brake is unlocked. Now I'll remove the chain from the bar. I'll push the bar back, pull the chain off the sprocket on the front of the bar, and then pull it away from the rear sprocket. Now I can install the new chain. First, I place the chain around the rear sprocket. Next, I'll line the driver links with the groove in the top of the bar. I'll pull the bar tight, bringing the chain up to it. At this point, make sure that the cutters are pointing rearward on the bottom of the bar. Now I can replace the side cover. With the side cover in place, I'll install the bar nuts, but leave them loose, only finger tight at this point. Now I'll hold the front of the bar up and turn the tension screw to tighten the chain. I don't want it too tight. I should be able to still pull the chain away from the bar, but shouldn't be able to pull a complete driver link out of the bar. That looks good, so I'll go ahead and tighten up the nuts. And that's how easy it is to install a new chain on your chainsaw.